going down. <laughs> hey guys, we're Cherry Knot. Uh, we're so excited to be here. Thank you so much for having us. Um, we'll be singing some originals for y'all today, um, and I hope you guys enjoy. Oh, and this is Blisters in My Socks. You put the chopstick on Sweet to the time Knows your hips and hide the kiss Kinda dumb cause I feel jealous Know that thing you do when you're walking It's fast paced but I smile when you're talking Keep up but I'm in my darks Come home with blisters in my socks When you look my Blisters in my socks. Um, this next song is <laughs> sorry, Perfect Wave. <laughs> this is also another original. Yeah, Slay Slim.
Thank you. Um, okay, this next song is called The End. It's about the end of the world. It's coming. <laughs> oh, Lord. All right. All right, this is the end, guys. But not really, though. such a cute song for it you know being about the end of the world but hey man personally can't wait same oh you're a slayer you slay that song thank you i liked our little moment that we had there but i have a girlfriend oh oh okay this next song is uh this is our last song uh god oh <laughs> Oh, right. We, could, we came out with this song. It's our first single. It's our most recent release. Um, this song is called um, Coronado, and you can get it. Oh, sure. 
So this song was written by our very own Kinsey Claudino, who's the bassist for today. Everyone give her a round of applause. She's awesome. So for the single, we decided to do a photo shoot in Coronado, believe it or not, which is a city in San Diego. And so Kinsey, you know, graciously picked me up from my house. And, you know, we're driving. We, like, pull into Coronado, the island. And she goes, ah, this is so beautiful here. I was like, I know, right? She's like, this is my first time. I was like, you wrote a song about Coronado and you've never been? I was I was Coronado before that. I, no, it's real, because she was just like, I've been, I've been here like maybe like once, but it's like dark, like I don't know. It's just like Um uh, Okay. You made the story seem like less cool than it was. All right, this is a song about a place that Kinsey has never been to. All right, cool. <laughs> a special place we used to share Salt on the breeze and wind in our hair Sand eats up by many steps I fall, you catch me with no regret Your hand finds mine to steady my pace I look to you, a familiar face Some love beneath the sky Made me feel so warm inside And I know how to read the warning signs My head's over heels, I'm paralyzed I know how I feel streaming uh, platforms. Katie, do you have anything else to say? <laughs> I don't want to say it. Oh, all right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> all right. Good, Talia? I think so. Okay. Hey, guys. Welcome to our very first Basement Beats interview. Ooh, we have our first band that just played here, Cherry Knot. Do you guys want to introduce yourselves? I'm Brooke. I'm the lead singer. I'm Jade. I'm the drummer. 
I'm Katie, I'm the rhythm guitarist. I'm Kinsey, I do bass and backup vocals. I'm Abby, and I play lead guitar. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Okay, so we're going to just ask you guys some questions. Um, first of all, how'd you guys all meet? Did you meet through SDSU? Have you guys known each other for a while? What's the vibe? Yeah, it was, like, it was kind of like we slowly Actually, you're talking to Sorry. No, you're good. Different, no, yeah. different people, like, met through different ways. I knew I knew Brooke and I dormed together and Abby and I were friends and we were jamming together at first. Yeah. And then and then we needed Abby, a drum. Yeah, Abby and I had class together. Yeah, that same semester. And she was like, "Hey, I heard you play guitar." I was like, "Yeah, but not really." But she's like, "Oh, but we also need, we a, need drummer. a drummer more." Yeah. I was like, "Okay, well, I, <laughs> mm-hmm. I'll figure it out." <laughs> oh yeah. No, but you said you played drums. Yeah. She said I, she played drums. That's awesome. That's so cool. <laughs> Um, and then, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't remember. I was just like, uh, me and Jade, uh, well, we're in the same major. We're, we were in the same club. We kind of just like could not escape each other in the best way possible. <laughs> and she was talking about Cherry Not, who I was like obsessed with because I love girl bands. I, you know, I, I'm in a band myself and it's with men, which kind of sucked. So I was like, <laughs> I would love a girl band. Yes. And, and so, um, yeah, I was just like, oh, if you ever need another guitarist. And then finally you had a gig where you're like, oh, we could use one, like, for a couple songs. And then after that yeah. gig, I was like, please, let me join Cherry Dog, please. <laughs> That's awesome. Ended up working out, and this here I am. That's awesome. So you guys have played a lot of gigs and stuff. Like, what's your favorite venue to play? Do you mostly do house shows? What's up with that? I like, I love house shows. Like, we just had a show last night, um, and, like, we weren't, like, expecting, like, I don't know, like, what we were expecting for the turnout, but, like, it was, like, a lot better than we thought. And honestly, like, any type of turnout we're happy with. But That's like, awesome. It was it was really it was fun. Insane. Was it a house show it was near insane. near college? Yes. yes. Is it near here? Yes. Cool. Yeah. That's I, awesome. I love the house shows. Like How do you guys feel about your show last night? Good? It was the best show. Yeah. It Like, the crowd, the most insane crowd just, like, the turnout was amazing. We, like, did so good. And, like, the energy was just, like, through the roof, you know? That's awesome. Yeah, yeah it was definitely my favorite show. Ever. That's great. Yeah. Did you guys play your new song? Yes. yes. Awesome. It's called it's called Coronado, right? Yes. yes. So I know you guys aren't all from San Diego. So why would you guys decide to write well, a song about Coronado? We're not. But should, should we tell the story again? Tell but, like, the story. But, but the tell story it to the fans. Sure, okay. Okay, so... <laughs> you know, we're not all from San Diego. I'm from San Diego. I think I'm in from Europe, San Diego, Abby, yeah, yeah, we're the only ones. But and so we're we're like, okay, Kansas wrote the song about Coronado, and we're like, okay, for the album cover, we should surprise go to Coronado and take photos. And so you know, Kinsey picks me up. She we're doing a little carpool thing, and we pull up, we go over the bridge, and Coronado is this beautiful beach town island, and we're there. And Kinsey's like, oh, it's so beautiful here. I'm like, yeah, I know, right? She's like. Yeah, I've never been. And I'm like, <laughs> you wrote a song about Coronado, but you've never, never been? And you're like, yeah, I don't know, man. Place of dreams, I guess. It yeah. was, I told Katie, well, she, she pushed about that, because it, it makes sense, like, writing a song about, or it's a, like, she's right about, like, writing a song somewhere you've, like, never been. But I, I wrote it when I was, like, watching some, like, interview for a band or whatever, and they had like some song that was like, oh, La Jolla, and it was about, you know, about a place. And I was like, oh, La Jolla. Oh my God, that's in San Diego. You know what else is in San Diego? <laughs> Coronado. I was like, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a good a, song. It's a cute little song. Nice. Yeah. yeah what, what, how would you guys describe the song? Like, beach. Surf, surfy. Surf, rock. surf beach. Like, surf beach. San Diego good core. Vibes. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Surfer yeah. girl. Yeah. Nice. That's yeah. awesome. Okay. Um, Brooke, I know that you're a theater performance major. Um, is there one character that you've hated playing, and do you feel like you play a role different from yourself in this band? Oh my gosh, I love that question. Yes, I got you. Um, okay, yeah. So I am a theater, ner- I'm a theater kid. I'm sorry, <laughs> but yeah. Um, there. Oh my god, I had this role. So I was Cogsworth in Beauty and the Beast, and um, they. That's the clock, right? The clock. Yeah. Yes. Just okay. to clarify, it it's the, the clock. clock. <laughs> it is the clock. Um, anyway, but they put me in this costume. It was like wooden, like clock costume, and I it weighed. It had to have weighed like I mean, this was like like beginning of high school. Anyway, so it was like way heavier than me. Mm-hmm. Um, and you're like, getting like dragged down. Yes, and like my shoulders hurt so bad. Uh, um, just like just like in our band, our shoulders get. I know. Really tired. I'm just like carrying the weight. 
Um, <laughs> anyway, so yeah, probably that freaking clock. I hated that. And then also too, like we were doing like a picture one day, and like, um, and then um, they were like, okay, like go ahead and st- like go on that step. I could not get like my foot like a couple inches off the ground to get up there. I'm like, how did how you expect me to get up there? Anyway, <laughs> and then I would say, um, yeah, I definitely am playing a different role. Um, I don't know. I feel like I can definitely like. Like, I just recently had a little epiphany that, like, I like this type of performance a lot better just because, I don't know, with theater, like, it's just so convoluted. There's just, like, a lot of things going on. Mm -hmm. Um, But I feel like I definitely do play a different role. I feel like I get to be, like, more chill. I also get to kind of be more my more, like, artistic side, which I think is, like, a maybe not, like, that's a this is a weird word, but, like, edgier version of myself, which is nice. No, that makes sense. Also, you're funny. cool. Thank you. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you. Okay, um, Jade, you're part of Aztec Music Group. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about the community and the organization, why you joined, and has that helped you in this? Has it hurt you? Yes, no, absolutely it helped me. Um, I actually joined because my like uh, director of my major, Dr. Scar, shout out, um, he reached out to me and he was like, um, they need keyboard members and I think you should do it. And so I did it and like, I was not, like, never in a million years did I think I'd be doing something like this. Like, I was always a band kid. My original instrument was trumpet. Um, <laughs> hey, I was, I was trumpet, too. Nice. <laughs> nice. Um, but, I, I, you know, I always thought, like, bands were super fun and super cool, but never thought it would be something that I'd be a part of. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, like, slowly we just, well, I think the biggest thing that AMG has done is, like, created this house show culture. Mm-hmm. I feel like mm-hmm. people having house shows and doing live music um, instead of like I mean the frats are still going on or whatever but even the frats now are like they're yeah. like oh we want bands at our yeah, parties totally. because it's like it's such a better environment people are there for the music not just there to like yeah it's like a whole experience yeah. it's not just yeah. some kid behind the DJ like playing <laughs> exactly. the like, same stuff you yeah, always hear not. well also the frat place. to like to that credit too it's like frat people and frat culture is so exclusionary and like you know house shows are for everyone it should be for everyone and that's same situation for parties and all that but frats don't follow that so this is more of a welcoming environment people feel more safe here which is so important uh, especially for women so i think that also helps a lot yes okay which one of you guys had slash has a solo project like played at the che yeah yes okay so are you still doing solo songs how's that working out so um I am in a band called Koshin right now, and that's, I would say, as much as that is a band and that is a collective, it is kind of my solo project because that name is going to go with me because yeah. I've, I've wrote all the songs for it. It's my music, and I have, you know, talented musicians that are just as a part of it as I am, but um, I would say that's my solo project, and I've always performed, you know, my music and songs that I've written. I have, like, when I was in high school, I performed at Shea Cafe, under my own name and I had like my friends back me up as my band but yeah so cool I will always continue to write music that will never stop and I will play it with whoever will play with me and whatever collective cool never stop. awesome okay um are you in the marching Aztecs on campus I was. Oh, you no, were. I What's were. the lore? Because I feel like <laughs> those are very two spill different tea, musical styles, tea. but is there overlap? I you mean, know, what's spill the tea? The nice thing about doing marching band is there's like a built-in group of friends, I guess. Like, yeah. I still, I still. Try You're to also hang out a marching with a band, right, Abby? Yeah, I, w- I also was. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We, we we still hang out with a lot. Yeah, of we're people we're still friends band. with them. Yeah. yeah. And they cool. they come to our shows. They're like super supportive. Yeah. Awesome. Um, but yeah, no. I, yeah, it's, it's it was really fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, is it, is it their like overlap that helped you in this band with that? Just like maybe learning to play with other people. Well, or? I mean, I know both of us. We've been playing in like concert band, marching band stuff, setting like probably for like a long time since we were younger. So yeah, I feel like I don't know. I it's like playing in marching band and playing in this band is honestly like pretty different yeah but it's still like you're musicians and you're playing with people so yeah you're used to it already cool um abby you also have a photography account with a lot of photos videos of local concerts do you want to shout out what that account is called oh yeah so that's called film by abby d and yeah i like uh filming just like 
uh, other bands and I film a lot of live sessions and do I like you, taking pictures. That's cool. Do yeah. you take photos for Cherry Nut? Um, well? Yeah, I, I honestly, I do film a lot of the behind the scenes and I'm always taking pictures and video. So a lot that's of the cool. stuff that you see on like the social media is probably from me. That's why I'm never in. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> no, that's awesome. Sorry, Abby. It's okay. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> that is really sad. Okay, yeah. um, next question. What's the worst show you guys have played performance-wise? Um, oh, what went wrong? Um, okay. Brooks sorority. Yeah. <laughs> Easy. Okay, 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 okay yeah. so basically... <laughs> <laughs> so um, I am in a sorority. Um, shout it out. Um, no. uh, okay, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Well, Damn, they are so scared. Just scared. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, oh. play. We'll beep it out, don't worry. It's just very... <laughs> anyway, we'll beep it out. Oh. <laughs> okay. um, so basically, like, um, we, like, a bunch of bands had dropped out on them last minute, and then, like, they text me, they're like, oh, Brooke's in a band. Um, and then they, like, texted us, and he was like, super last minute, but, like, oh, my God, we did um, we did an Olivia Rodrigo song. Um, well, I, okay, mind you, mind you, our very first show that we had ever played was... T- like two weeks before, two weeks that. before that, and we yeah. didn't, and yeah, we, we didn't, didn't practice, practice after that show. So yeah, we were like, and it was a, day a new of. band, and it yeah. was day of. Day like, of, okay. If, if we had Stress. more time day to prep and stuff, it would have been better. It was but only like our showing show. up and being like, okay, we just had our like very first show. Time to play again. We yeah. haven't played in two weeks. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, and like Stress. there was a part of the song where I just like completely like I turned around and I. Like looked at everybody and I was like, oh, yeah. um, <laughs> <laughs> also the crowd. There was like no one was paying yeah. attention to us because yeah. we were the openers. Gotcha. Were and they were just yeah. like getting stuff ready while we were like playing. And I just saw people yeah. like walking right by us, like yelling. And I'm like, bro, like, yeah. Yeah. we're literally yeah. playing a song and you're not like, okay, yeah, whatever. no, that's yeah. frustrating. Sorry. Well, I'm glad you guys Incredible. had a better show yesterday, and hopefully future better shows. What's for the future of Cherry Knot? You guys writing more songs? You have shows planned? What's going on? Yeah. Just we just recorded all. another song. So. Hey. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. nice. What's yeah. it called? Or is, is that? Nice oh, oh, yeah. You guys song. played that, right? Yeah. 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 That was your opening song. We've played it. We've played it many times live. But yeah, we're working on trying to release another single and then hopefully an EP. Cool. Um, and we've got some shows yeah. for yeah. Halloween with Abby's other side project, Monarch yes. Street. Yeah, Monarch Street. Yeah. Um, so we sick. were doing a Halloween show the 29th from Monarch Street. Um, oh, cool. Yeah, just like another... What is, it's a what production is? company that we uh, throw, like, sh- kind of like... It's kind of like this, where, like, it's, like, tiny desk. But for, like, the first yeah. two sessions was like that, but this one we're doing, like, a special, like, Halloween, like, house show. Cool. And we record music and audio, and we put it on YouTube, so... Awesome. Yeah. That's cool. And that's the 29th of yes, October? Yes, that's the 29th. Cool. Follow the Cherry Nut Instagram to... Find out more about that show. Uh, yeah. At Cherry Not At Band. Cherry Not Band. Thank you. You heard it here, folks. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's all the questions I have. Do you guys have anything you want to add? How did you feel about playing in the Daily Aztec room today? Like, it was so cute. I really loved it. Like, I walked in and I was like, I was like, this is literally like NPR. It was so cool. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Love I really that liked vibe. it too. And everybody's so kind. Yay. Great. Well, thanks for being here, guys. You guys were really fun to interview. <laughs> And Thanks so much for having yeah. us. Yeah, of course. So awesome. Thank you, Kate. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Yeah, into it. So fun. Yeah. That was so fun. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.